healthy, healthiest foods video for you today. It's quite late right now. It's almost midnight. <laughs> I had a really busy day today and I wanted to be sure to make this video though because um, I don't want to fall behind with the video. So the food of the day today is ginger and it looks like that. It looks like a hand almost. It's kind of like, um, you'd think it's a root, but it's actually a rhizome, which is kind of like what um, the iris things are that grow underground and the beautiful iris flowers come up. So it smells wonderful. And um, it's in a lot of foods, ginger ale, and don't they always tell you to, um, if your stomach is kind of upset, have a little ginger ale, you'll feel better. Yeah because it's really good for your gastrointestinal problems. But we'll get there. Let me just mention that uh, the link to the website that I got my information from will be in the bottom bar. And there's not really a recipe today. I'm just gonna show you what I like to do with ginger and what uh, is good to do with ginger, <laughs> which is make ginger tea. If your stomach is upset or if you have a cold, which my throat is very raw, the last day or two so I'm gonna try some ginger tea tonight with honey so we'll get to that though anyhow uh, let me tell you about ginger it's great for gastrointestinal I already told you that <laughs> how many times do I have to tell you alright uh, which means it can help with motion sickness morning sickness if you're expecting a baby it also I've read on some sites that it helps with menstrual cramps you know, sticking with that whole reproductive theme. It's an anti-inflammatory, which means if you have arthritis, it's going to probably help you out a little bit. Uh, it prevents ovarian cancer, or it helps prevent ovarian cancer and colorectal cancer. I've also read that it helps, again, prevent kidney damage if you're diabetic, and it boosts the immune system. Hence, if you've got a cold, you should make some ginger tea. And the way that we're going to be making ginger tea is you take um, a finger and you break it. These are called fingers, by the way. And you break it off. You just snap it off. It's pretty soft. And you peel it because uh, you want to have maximum surface area for the tea to brew. So I just peeled mine and sliced it like that. And over here I've got my water almost ready to boil. I'm going to put the pieces in there and let it simmer once it comes to a boil for 10 minutes and then turn off the heat and I'll show you what to do. All right, so there it is. Um, I just <clears throat> poured it off of the pan. I left the ginger in the pan and I just, I meant to say pour off the juice <laughs> or the tea that's made and I put in a big teaspoon of Manuka honey because that's really good for your throat and if you don't put in any sweetener in there, it's going to be really, how do you say, <laughs> gingery. So hopefully this will help me tonight. It's very, it ta have you ever had like ginger snaps? That's what it tastes like, but without the cookie. <laughs> Just the gingery part, or like um, ginger ale tea if you can imagine that. It's actually pretty good. It's got a little kick to it, and uh, I like that. It, after all, it is 12.23. I do need to still film another show. <laughs> so hopefully this will get me through it without coughing my head off or my throat exploding. So I hope you try it, if, especially if um, you've got some stomach issues or if you've got a cold or the flu. It can only make you feel better. So make sure you try it. And all the information is going to be in the bottom bar. So till next time, much love.